This is kind of a special occasion for us um, being big Goosebumps fans back in the day. We had, mm -hmm. I'd say, a large majority of the books. At least, well, I thought I had the large majority until I started reading through the list. <laughs> this is IMDb quite, or... quite the collection. Well, it spanned from like, what, the early 90s to the late 90s? I think so. I think I saw it said 92 to 97 was its original run. There's a lot of offshoots. Yeah, yeah of course. So we were really hoping with the Goosebumps movie, we were going to be brought back to that nostalgic time, reading those books again. We're going to find out right now if it paid off. You're turning a page. Yeah. Let's start this review. What were your first impressions when you first saw the trailer for Goosebumps? When I first saw the trailer, I thought, there's no way that I'm going to go see that movie in theater or possibly yeah. ever. It looked terrible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looked really bad. And the idea of the books coming to life and all the creations running havoc seemed really kind of stupid and almost cliche like we've seen it before. And in the trailer, it had a lot of the monsters in the books that I had never read. Yeah. I mean, it was a lot of the later yeah, part the of the Yeti, series. The snow, what yeah, was the abominable, the abominable snowman, snowman yeah. of, of Pasadena. Yeah, where was the Say Cheese and Die set up? Where was Monster Blood? Well, where they had was, Monster Blood. Well, spo spoiler. We have Jack Black as R.L. Stein. What do you think? Are you a Jack Black I'm fan? I'm not a huge Jack okay. Black fan, but I, I don't hate him either. He, he did okay. He seemed to... Um, just be a little too much early in the movie. He's a little but, over the top. Uh, but as the scenes unfolded, I thought he was a little more entertaining. What was his accent, too? I don't know. It was Transylvanian. Kind of like, like an angry European Irish. I don't know. I guess <laughs> a lot, a lot kind of, of the eyebrow thing. movements Isn't that going kind of, on. All kind of the same thing. <laughs> his daughter is Mila Kunis. The, uh, 15 it, this, years ago. Yeah, 15 years ago, Mila Kunis, that 70s show. It looks just like her. Identical. Uh, and the boy is kind of like a crossbreed of different actors, too, yeah, and musicians. Yeah, Schmidt from New Schmidt Girl. Schmidt from New Girl mixed with uh, Jonas Brother. And then there's the nerd. There's a lot of uh, side characters that are comic relief. There's a ton of comic relief mm -hmm. in this. You have the uh, the chick from um, Workaholics, who's hilarious. She's hilarious. What is her movie. name? Let me look. I'm not sure. But I, I want to give more her she's credit not. because she's a great actor. Jillian Bell. Jillian Bell, Wouldn't why is she that. not getting more work? Champ was another guy. Uh, he was in Super 8, playing kind of the same character. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I didn't really care for him. And he was obnoxious. The chick's been done was, way too many yeah, times he was obnoxious. You had, the, you had the cops. Yeah, and, that the, were also... and the mom was in it in and out. Oh, yeah. Well, I forgot her name. She's She's been kind of blowing up in movies lately. And she was the, just in the last one I saw. The creepy other teacher that kind of popped in once in yeah, a while what, too, what over the, the shoulder. Point, what was the point of him? He if just, anybody's a Party Down fan, I'm pretty sure it's the, the main character. The Party Down that. guy? Yeah. The main villain of the picture is Slappy from... Yeah. What, what, Night of the Living Dummy. Night of the Living Dummy. One, two, and three, I believe. <laughs> He is a good villain. He's yeah, funny. And he's Jack good. Black, I think, um, I'm sure, voiced him yeah, as well. He's, that way. He's, I didn't mind him as a main villain. Yeah, I liked him a lot. So Slappy, you know, he opens all the books and all these creatures and stories come to life. And uh, it was just missing a lot of the ones that I really liked. And the ones that were there were different from the book. Like the main one was Monster Blood, yeah. which was fucking purple. Reddish, I, I, like real blood. I'm swearing in a review for a kid's like movie. It doesn't matter. I'd see YouTube. It's all gone to shit. But yeah, it's, it's like reddish purple maroon instead of green. It's clearly green in all three or four of the books. The and cover. even the Go Goosebumps logo was originally green, which I assume like kind of symbolized that book. Yeah. It was an early book. It's kind of the muse for yeah. monster blood. And a lot of comedy, too. A lot, a of, lot of comedy. Actually, I th it was a lot funnier. The beginning was actually really good. Drew my attention in. Yep. And some of the action scenes were okay, but for the most part, it was drawn out as it went along. But yeah. I, I did like a lot of the comedy that was involved. A little bit of some adult humor, even. I think they nailed the, they, they nailed the audience, and clearly the box office has shown that. Mm -hmm. they, they didn't seem to really care about plot holes or anything, and I suppose that just kind of comes with it when, when it's a kid's movie. Or but predictability. Yeah, yeah, you called the twist right away. See, for how unpredictable as a 8, 9, 10-year-old I believed his books to be. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. If we read them today, we're probably like, oh, well, I know where this is going yeah. and throw it away. But yeah, for a kid, it's probably very unpredictable. Yeah. And they're like, oops. Oh, Unless they got uh, you as a parent like whispering. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's actually going to be a ghost. Happen. Special effects, that was a big turnoff when I saw the trailer. And I thought that the, the actual movie looked way better. I don't know if yeah, that I was... Didn't, I didn't think it was too bad. I mean, I think... Part of what helped it was how close the camera was and yeah. shaky, so they didn't have to be as quality of 
monsters, but even like the werewolf was all right. It was for all what right. it was. Yeah, it was it was better than I thought. It wasn't like Scooby Doo movie yeah. level crap. If yeah. you remember those movies, I never they're, went. To see they're, they're pretty terrible. Yeah. I've I've seen them both <laughs> pre kids. <Yeah. laughs> they're, they're, Post well, high school, I'll, I'll see anything with Ruben Stutter in it. Yeah. You watch like Jurassic Park. The original, and you see the T Rex come down, and it's really like an animatronic T Rex, so it feels like it's there. Even today, if you even go back today, and watch but it. but you watch like even the new Jurassic World or this, for instance, and it just it looks fake. I mean, no matter how good the CGI gets, it looks fake unless it's Mad Max where they use it more subtly in the mm -hmm. backgrounds and stuff. But yeah, this just they didn't have the budget, I guess, to really convince me. And I, I wish they would use more practical effects for some of the closer shots, at least. I guess I came in expecting very little. And I got a little bit more than that, so... Um, probably why the reviews are okay. I think yeah. a lot of people are in the same boat. So I was hoping to be a little more nostalgic about it, but it was uh, entertaining enough. Okay, well, what do you what do you think you're going to give this? I'm giving it a six. Hmm. I was going to go a little higher with a seven. I'm still thinking I might go there because I'm a little bit more lenient, I think, with movies yep. um, lately. Maybe it's just being a, a parent and having to suffer through so much shit mm -hmm. that I thought this was a good one for families. It wasn't too scary. I think I, I could take the daughter and she'd be fine. Um, but there was enough, at least, where you know it wasn't dumb enough for, for parents to be like, okay, this is just awful. There, just there was definitely some, yeah, there was some quality. It kept me entertained. I'm going to go seven. I want to say this too. The score by Danny Elfman was a huge disappointment. I think it was Danny Elfman, right? Was yeah, that the yeah, credit name? that's right. Which surprised me because, I mean, he's done some amazing stuff, but there's just nothing that says this is a Goosebumps movie when it starts out. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that would have helped the movie a lot. Well, I'll tell you this if new books come out, he's got a fan still. I'll, I'll buy him up for the kids. I'll probably read him myself. There you go. I'll probably read him myself. <laughs> Let's end this. Until next time, we'll see you right here in the car. Is that how we end it? I know.